So to do the tightening of the sew-in, I made a vertical part into the sew-in. You might be able to see the tracks in there. Maybe you can't. They're pretty close. So I'll take the threaded needle and I'll loop it around and connect it. And then what I do is I just loop around the very next track above. I'll loop around, pull up with tension, and I'll come back around one more time to make a complete round of that track. And then I'll move on to the next one, I'll move up to the next one. Go around. And depending on how close your tracks are, you might grab two tracks at a time, which is perfectly fine. I know there's a lot of videos on how to tighten the sew in. This is just the way I do it, and it works pretty good for me. Continuing all the way up that vertical section. And I probably do about four to five vertical sections throughout the sew in. So I'll do the edge, but I always do the edges last. I'll do the edge. Then I'll do another one, and then one directly down the back, the side, and then the other edge. And then that's how you tighten your sew in. Of course, I always shampoo the hair first, and then I blow dry it. The extension here, I'll blow dry, and then I'll set my client under the dryer to dry the braids underneath. And before I put her under the dryer, I'll put what we call a blow dry accelerator on the hair. And the kinds that I use are two different kinds. This is my favorite, which I'm totally out of. It's called My Amazing Blow Dry. It speeds up the time of the drying of the hair. And this one you can find in Walmart or CVS. This is by L'Oreal. And it's a blow dry, quick dry primer spray. Works like a charm. So now I'm at the top. And so I'm just going to loop the thread around again just to make sure it's secure and that the sew in is secure. Very tight. Not too tight to where it's uncomfortable for your client because if it's uncomfortable for the client, then it's damaging to the hair. And that's the last thing you want to do is damage the hair. You want to preserve the integrity of your client's hair. So I'll tie that off. And trim that. Now this part of the sole of the tracks that you can see, or the base that you can see, normally what I would do is add new hair to that. Step back. I would add new hair to that so you couldn't see any of the individual braids. But this time I'm not. So I'm just going to move to the edge and do the edge. And then her tightening will be done. It takes about 5 to 10 minutes to tighten the whole sew in. I used to go track by track and it just took forever and it got really uncomfortable for clients. And so now I do it this way. And there's my vertical section right in there. You may not be able to see it up close, but it's in there. And just like before, I will connect the thread to the very last track. And then I'll loop through the thread to make it secure, like that. And then I'll just work up vertically, grabbing each track as I go. And again, if you grab two tracks at a time, it's perfectly fine. I'll go under and then under again just to make sure then I'll move on to the next, move on up to the next track or tracks. Really quick technique. Works pretty well. Tightens up really well. So I knot and cut and tie and cut. And this is how I tighten the sewing. The only thing you need is your thread and a curved needle. I prefer the curved needle because it comes back out towards you instead of into your client's hair. Now I am going to go in and tighten right, a little tighter, or a little closer to her edge. The edges are fragile, so you want to make sure you use very minimal Tension, but you want to make it secure, but you don't have to use so much tension. Same technique. I'm going to connect and loop through. I'm just going to go through all the tracks sideways now. A 
looking up. Real easy technique. You might you might find yourself using something similar to this technique. You might have a technique and you might modify it a little bit. I know myself, if I see something, I'll modify it to suit my needs or I'll just use a whole new technique that I see here on YouTube. There's no definite, 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 definite way. Do what works for you and what works for your clients. My motto is I grow hair, so I never want to do anything that will add unneeded tension to my client's hair, especially at their edges. Now, I've already, before I started this video, I've already went horizontal across this top. And the reason why I did that is because I wanted to, I want to make some a secure anchor for the vertical threads that came up. So, it's very secure now. So, she's ready to roll. Remember not to leave these sew-ins in past three months. And depending on your client's hair texture, you may not even be able to leave them in two and a half or two months. So, you make the call if you're the beauty professional. Let your client know that you'll have to be back in to have the sewing removed. Tightening them and just wearing them may not be the answer all the time. Thanks for watching. That's my tip for the day.